Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your very best life in Jesus Christ. As I'm sure you figured out by now, during this Easter week, I have been looking at each day and I've been pondering the implications and the things we should learn from Jesus' activity on that day. Well, traditionally on the timeline of Jesus last week before his death, burial, and resurrection, Wednesday is kind of a blank. Scriptures does not say that Jesus did anything in particular interest on the Wednesday before Passover, but scholars speculate that after two exhausting days in Jerusalem, Jesus and his disciples spent the day resting in Bethany, in anticipation of Passover, of course. Well, I look at that and I say, well, isn't that just like our Lord? What do you mean, Kevin? Well, let me explain. I mean that Jesus was a teacher. He knew what was coming. And he was once again giving his disciples a good example to follow. I'm pretty sure Jesus didn't really need to rest all that much, but I'm also sure that he thought it important to be seen to rest. Jesus wanted us to be able to look back on this time after the fact and be inspired to rest in the Lord, no matter what we might be facing. He wanted everybody to know that whatever was coming, God was in control and he would help his son, and of course us, to get through it. I'm sure this example was in Peter's mind when he later wrote in 1 Peter 5, 7 that we should, quote, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Just as important as, as, as is important for us to rest in the Lord, we also need physical and mental rest, something that I would be the first person to admit I struggle with. I often spend my days rushing from one thing to the next, never pausing to catch my breath, when I do this, I often find myself frustrated at the end of the day when I looks like uh, I didn't get everything I wanted to done. This is not the example Jesus wanted us to follow, but rather his example of finding rest, not just once a week, but a little rest every day. When we look over the course of our day, are there things, there are times that we choose to rest? Are there moments when we can catch our breath, sit down and reflect? Or are we just going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny until we drop into bed an hour later than we'd hoped to, filled with frustration that we didn't achieve what was on the list? It might seem productive to rush around nonstop, but the truth of the matter is our bind, bo the body, mind, and spirit were not created to function that way. Daily rest is needed, just like daily food. If you skip eating, your body ends up depleted. Well, in the same way, skipping rest leaves both our physical body and our spiritual body deeply weary. Take time each day to rest and incorporate it into your daily routine. We need to follow the example of Jesus who made the effort to rest even when thousands of people were looking at him to be fed. Yes, he still fed them with the loaves and fishes, but also he fed himself with solitude, prayer, and rest. As we approach Easter, let us look at the lessons that Christ has taught us, and among these is the idea that we should not just run willy-nilly from sunlight to sunset, but rather find times to rest, to pray, and to spend time with our Lord. I hope you make today a fantastic day. I want you to know that I'm here should you need me, and I truly love you all.